In the origin of the universe, all matter occupied one tiny, dense space. And then it all started with a bang! The most widely accepted theory about the origin of the universe is the Big Bang Theory. Our universe has many different objects in it. One kind of object is a planet. The Earth is one planet, but the universe contains trillions more planets, and they vary greatly. Also, there are moons. Moons are similar to planets, except they're much smaller in orbit around the planets. Scientists call objects like moons that orbit planets natural satellites. There are also stars in our universe that vary in size, temperature, and color, but they're larger than the planets. In the core of stars, fusion takes place. This process creates our known elements and fuels the star. Next, we have solar systems. Stars, planets, and moons all together form solar systems. Our own solar system is named after our sun, Sol. Next, we have nebula, which are giant clouds of dust held together by gravity. Over time, parts of nebulas become more dense and stars are born. Finally, we have galaxies, which are huge clusters of stars. There are varying types of galaxies. Finally, the universe is composed of lots of empty space. Our differing types of galaxies come in three categories. The first kind of galaxy is called irregular galaxies. They have no definite shape or size and vary. The second kind of galaxies are elliptical. These galaxies don't have spiraling arms and instead they're flattened and shaped like a disc similar to a football. Finally, we have a kind of galaxy called spiral. These galaxies have spiral arms made of stars. Our own Milky Way galaxy is called a barred spiral. It's classified as a barred spiral because it has two arms that extend out from the central bar. In the Milky Way galaxy, we have many different stars expanding across 100,000 light years in diameter. And our own Sun and Earth are located about two-thirds away from the center of the galaxy. And remember, it all started with a bang.